Hello there, it's um, Deb and Beck, of course, and we just wanted to jump in and share a very short video with you introducing the lovely Becca, who, if you read our post the other day, is taking over the group, the Dead for You group, from the new year. So, Becca, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm Becca, Becca Marino, if you want to know my surname too, um, and I... I'm currently a nanny aspiring to be a life coach and I came across this understanding three and a half years ago something like that maybe four and I think the biggest thing that came from from hearing it what I heard was that I'm like I'm not my thoughts and I don't I don't have to believe those that thinking that's in my mind um yeah that and that I'm undamageable, like I can't, I can't be damaged in the in the game of life. Um, <clears throat> and so I just I want to share that with people. Can you tell me a little bit about how that changed your life, how that impacted you? Seeing like when you heard that you're not your thoughts, what changed? Um, I guess that I'm. I guess I trusted life. I didn't need to take control like I did as much before like when things didn't go Becca's way um I didn't kind of jump in and run around like a headless chicken anymore I kind of just let it sit I mean sometimes I do run around like a headless chicken still don't get me wrong <laughs> but then I, I do catch myself and it's like oh do I need to be running around like a headless chicken no it's probably safer if I you know calm myself mm. um so I think I just don't take things as seriously anymore. And um, I remember with my siblings when they were much smaller, um, they had to behave in a certain way for me to be okay. Mm -hmm. And now I'm looking after children who, from like what I remember the age of six and four, I remember my siblings being that age, um, like what, 11 years ago. Um, <laughs> and now with this six and four year old, I'm just so much calmer. And they're so much happier and I'm happier. They do a whole bunch of things that I really wish they didn't. <laughs> bunch, whole bunch. But I just, I just don't mind as much. And it's like, well, they're children. And either they're going to do what they're doing or not. Mm. I mean, they're always, always going to be doing what they're doing. But I'm going to like it or not. <laughs> and I can just... You know, it's just okay. I can try my best and explain to them why they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. But I think there's less things that they shouldn't be doing. You know, I can't let them hurt each other. I can't let them hurt themselves. But that's basically it. The rest of it is, the rest of it is just your own mind playing tricks on you that they shouldn't be screaming or they shouldn't be eating rice with their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> or we should get up from the table 500 times when we're supposed to be eating dinner. Um, the rest of it is, yeah, literally they just shouldn't hurt each other and themselves. That is the one thing that is kind of in my books a must. I have to, you know, mm. and then if they do hurt themselves or each other, then we can cross that bridge if and when it comes to it, discuss how that works out. But I feel like, yeah, definitely... I don't take life as seriously, nowhere near as seriously as I used to. Mm. I'm just so much more relaxed and um, like my circumstances, other people, situations, isn't dependent on my okayness. I, even when it looks that way, like I can, I can see my own okayness even in those, you know, really what Becca would term horrible places. I can see my okayness even there. Mm. Yeah, I think it's such a beautiful gift, isn't it, to, to be able to come to a space of knowing your okayness, being so much calmer and taking life so much more lightheartedly. Um, and I think our group, hopefully, are going to really enjoy um, getting to know a bit more about how that works for them as well 
because everything you've talked about is true for all human beings. I mm -hmm. think that's the beauty of this conversation. So we're thrilled to be handing the group yes, over to you. And, um, yeah, I think officially from the new year, you'll be kind of stepping in and, and starting to share. And I know you do your um, monthly Zoom coffee and chat. So I know you'll be sharing about those. Um, and I think we mentioned in the post, Deb and I may still pop in and say oh, hi from time sure. to time. We're not, we're not going very uh, <laughs> But it's really nice to be able to hand over to you and, and get to know a bit more about you and, um, and how this conversation's impacted you and where it can go for other people too. So thank you very much for doing yeah. this little interview with us today. It was really nice to see a bit more of you. Yeah, Thanks, lovely Becca. to catch up with you. Thanks, Becca. Thank you. Thank you.